so in this video we are going to uh, build the shipping screen where uh, the user after clicking on proceed to checkout uh, will take the user to the shipping screen where the user needs to uh, add in all the shipping address okay of the user and uh, once we click on this uh, you see now we are not uh, logged in okay so if i click on this it will take me to the uh, login screen where uh, once we log in it will take us to slash shipping okay so this is the url param which will be handling later so uh, if i click on john's uh, credentials and type it out and you see it will take us to the uh, shipping address okay and you see all of these uh, values are auto filled which means that um, we have uh, like persisted all of these values in the local storage because i have uh, tried this uh, once before so you see in our um, local storage we have all of these values okay so it will fetch from there if we are uh, not uh, logged in okay if we if we have already typed this uh, out before so you see even if i refresh uh, the values will still uh, be there okay so uh, that is the uh, that is why we need to have such kind of user experience so that we do not want the user to type out all of these fields okay so we'll be building this uh, right now so now let's uh, go to our card slice and uh, create another piece of state over there along with our uh, uh, user info okay so not user info it's the cart items so uh, along with that we are going to also um, create a state for sh uh, shipping address so shipping and set this uh, to an empty object okay so later we'll be filling this uh, okay so now let's uh, go to our red users and uh, let's create one red user for to save the shipping address of the user okay so uh, we'll be uh, naming this save shipping address and uh, set this to a function which takes in the state and the action so this action will uh, contain a payload where we'll be actually sending all the information okay about the user's uh, shipping address all right uh, so now let's uh, go to um, state dot shipping address and uh, give that the value of action dot payload okay so this payload will contain all the different uh, uh, you know information about the shipping address of the user and this will be uh, saving it in the local storage okay so let's go ahead and local storage dot set item and set this uh, inside the value of cart and uh, also we want to stringify the value the state okay so uh, that's done and uh, here also we have done the same okay so where's that uh, actually we are yeah right here so previously we have used this function uh, called update cart and pass in the state so this will do all the different calculations but now we we don't need to do any calculations but uh, just set the value of our shipping address all right and uh, now let's uh, now that's done so now let's go to um, now let's create a screen such that we will be uh, displaying uh, the fields uh, to enter the shipping address so let's go to our screens and create a shipping screen all right and uh, over there i am going to uh, create a functional component and uh, let's uh, first amount this on the uh, main.jsx okay so i'm just going to call the shipping screen and uh, now let's uh, go to our main.jsx and uh, import this okay so i'm just uh, copying this down and uh, renaming this to shipping and also the shipping screen all right so uh, now let's uh, have a look now if i go to uh, slash shipping it will show me the uh, simple text of uh, shipping screen okay so now let's go ahead and uh, print out our jsx and uh, let's uh, display a form over here to um, like you know enter the sh uh, the shipping address of the user so within the shipping screen i'm going to uh, paste in the jsx so in order to uh, uh, you know we in order to like prevent some typing okay so these are all uh, if i just go ahead and type all this it will uh, just take more than 10 minutes okay so i just don't want to bore you all with uh, HT, html and css so that's why i have just uh, pasted in the jsx but you can just uh, have a look at the code also uh, actually by the way some people have some uh, trouble in uh, you know finding out the jsx and when they paste it they get some error so for that i am uh, going to create another folder just for you guys uh, so that uh, you can 
go over here and uh, copy uh, the JSX and uh, paste it in. Okay, so I'm just going to call this uh, JSX and also I'll be uh, uh, like adding in the previous uh, code also, like the for the product screen and all of that that we created. So let's uh, create one more for shipping screen. Okay, so this will be not mounted anywhere else. Okay, so this will just be uh, isolated uh, folder where I'll be, uh, you know, simply pasting in the JSX. So first of all, let's create the functional component and I'll be pasting this here. So you can just uh, go to my uh, GitHub. Okay, and then uh, like go to my repository and within the JSX, you can just copy this entire thing. Okay, because later I'll be, if I be modifying it, uh, when you all copy paste it, uh, you'll find some uh, problems, right? So, uh, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay, so nothing, nothing much uh, more than that. So now let's go back to our shipping screen and uh, let's uh, have a look at our uh, output here for the code we pasted. So there we have our shipping screen with uh, our address, our city and the postal code and also the country of the user. Okay, so these are the four fields that uh, user needs to provide before uh, continuing uh, the for payment. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and uh, handle this and make this work. So right now I'm going to import few things. So let's close this up and uh, I'm going to import the use state hook. Okay. And uh, also I'm going to import use dispatch and use selector in order to deal with our state. All right. And now let's uh, import use navigate. So now finally let's import the uh, the shipping address of uh, the slice that we created the reducer so save that's what we named it right save shipping okay i didn't uh, export this so my bad i'll just do that so that is coming from uh, dot dot slash slices slash uh, card slice all right so let's uh, export that first of all save shipping address All right. So uh, now let's uh, create uh, a piece of state such that uh, we can hand we can control these uh, inputs. Okay. So we can finally send that uh, to the uh, safe shipping address, which will store the information in our local storage. So for that, I'm going to uh, create four pieces of state. So I'm going to call this address set address that is coming from use state. And uh, the initial values we are going to get it from our uh, state. Okay, we are going to check uh, if the values exist in our local storage. So those values we will be our initial values. Else, it is just going to be an empty string. Okay, so let's grab the state from our cart. So use selector and pass in our state and get the cart state. All right, and uh, this remember has a property of uh, share shipping ad shipping address that we uh, just now created, right? So let's grab that. So I'm going to destructure what's happening. So I'm going to destructure our shipping address. So that is coming from. Uh, our cart okay so uh, now we need to uh, check this has different values like address uh, like you know all these uh, different values okay so the address the postal code whatever we have uh, you know specified over here uh, in our form okay so we are going to get those values so uh, now let's uh, get those uh, particular things so first let's uh, uh, get those values so shipping address dot address Okay, oh, so if that value exists, then it will use that. If not, it will use this uh, empty string. Okay, so I'm using the OR operator. So let's do duplicate this uh, uh, three more times so that we can also add our state for our uh, city and postal code. So this is going to be city. Okay, and uh, shipping address dot city. And the next one is for the postal code. Finally, the country.
okay so that's done and now let's uh, uh, add this to our uh, form inputs so uh, the value of this is going to be uh, this uh, actual value that is uh, from our use state address and then uh, on change so we need to call a function which takes in the event parameter and call the set address function which uh, we are going to pass in the e dot target dot value all right so now let's uh, duplicate this uh, or copy this and paste in our uh, different fields okay so and i'm just going to change the name so from address to uh, city all right so right here as well and finally for the country so that's done and now let's uh, finally um, like uh, add a so, like a handle submit uh, button okay let's uh, uh, go here and make a on click and let's call this handle submit all right so now let's uh, also uh, give a on submit hook or to uh, on submit prop for this uh, form so it's going to call the same function handle submit and we are now right above the return statement let's create the function const handle submit and uh, we are going to uh, prevent the default behavior of submitting the form that is e dot prevent default okay so and now i'm just going to console log the values for whatever the user uh, types in over here okay just so just so we know that everything is working fine so console log the address city postal code and then the country okay so now let's uh, have a look and just check if everything's working fine so we are getting an error here saying that address is uh, not defined so that is because our uh, shipping uh, address in our state is currently empty and it is trying to access this address property so for that uh, we can just use optional chaining and uh, it will just use this empty string instead of this uh, value okay so uh, later once our shipping address is there we can just uh, if you want we can remove this optional chaining as well so now let's have a look yeah uh, now is everything working fine now let's uh, have a look at our console and uh, type in some uh, address okay so i'm just going to use uh, some dummy address okay so if i hit on submit or continue to payment so it's not going to uh, take us to any other different page okay so it will just log us the actual address okay so these are the four values that we actually entered over here okay so now we know that everything is working fine and now let's go ahead and dispatch the action of uh, safe shipping address to our um, uh, local storage okay and so now let's uh, initialize uh, dispatch and use navigate so and also use navigate so it is not import why do i always do this and the use navigate okay so now let's uh, go ahead and dispatch this uh, uh, reducer right here and here dispatch save shipping address okay and uh, we are going to uh, pass in these four particular values okay so and then paste in here and now let's save and uh, let's finally navigate the user to uh, uh, to the next screen okay that is uh, for the payment screen which we uh, we didn't yet create so let's uh, slash payment okay and uh, for now i'll just comment it out because we haven't created this page yet later we'll uncomment out this so now let's uh, let's see if uh, these values actually are in our local storage once we submit the form 
so now if i click on continue to payment uh, it does nothing but uh, now we need to check our uh, application okay in our uh, local storage so right here we also see uh, this uh, okay you see our shipping address okay so this is the address which we uh, just now typed and we uh, uh, like hit submit okay so this will stay save in our local storage and also if we have a look at our redux tab so we can see uh, this uh, action that took place so that is save shipping address and uh, you can have a look within our cart and also the shipping address okay so this is the shipping address that we actually uh, like save when we uh, like hit on continue to payment okay so the reason we are doing this is uh, later we do not want the uh, user to you know type the address again and again so you would also have this had this experience in other websites also where all of these gets auto filled because that will uh, that is actually persisted within uh, your browser's local storage okay so it will fetch those values from there if it is not there then it will you will have to uh, type it out again which where the forms will um, like you know be uh, empty at that time okay so now if we have a look and if i just refresh this so you see these uh, values will still uh, persist okay so this will uh, uh, grab these values from the local storage and uh, now if i for example uh, create uh, clear the local storage it will uh, you know uh, we'll have to type it out all again so if i just uh, do that and show you so if i clear this uh, card state within our local storage and uh, now try to uh, reload you see uh, we no longer have those values okay so within our card screen uh, we have uh, navigated the user to slash checkout okay so this should be slash shipping so which i uh, mistyped uh, in the previous video so let's uh, do that and uh, now let's uh, go to um, some product and let's uh, add to cart and let's click on proceed to checkout so it will take us to the shipping screen okay however there's a problem because uh, we do not want the um, user who is actually not logged in to um, access this page okay so for that for that if i just log out and uh, again go to slash shipping so you see the user even though um, the user is not uh, logged in we are actually able to uh, access this okay so for that we we need to do something so to handle that we need to go to our card screen and we need to check if the user is first of all logged in so uh, for that we need within our uh, navigate so within this uh, string we just need to uh, add in the value of uh, login okay so with a question mark and uh, we just need to uh, add in some query params okay so we are going to call that redirect so equals slash uh, shipping okay if the user is not logged in it will take him to, uh, to the login screen so once the user logs in it will immediately uh, redirect the user to the shipping screen like that okay so this should be slash login so in order to handle this we need we need to go to our um, login screen and uh, there we need to fetch the uh, query params okay so for that we need to use a, a hook from uh, react router down that is uh, use location okay okay so now let's uh, initialize that so no need to initialize but we just need to uh, get the value of um, the search okay so i'm just going to uh, show you what does it return so uh, right below this i'm just going to call um, this will uh, get the value of search okay so that is coming from use location and uh, now let's uh, console log and have a look at what this value is So within my card screen, if I click on uh, proceed to checkout, it is going to take me to uh, slash login. Okay. And also you see, we have this uh, query param that is uh, redirect to slash shipping. So once we log in, it will take us to slash shipping. Okay. So, so now if I just show you the value of uh, the search, so you see, we get this value of uh, this redirect. Okay. So this is going to slash shipping. So we just need to grab this value and handle that. So in order to get the particular value, I'm just going to, uh, create a variable called search params that is equal to a new url search param so this is a func uh, function function uh, which javascript gives us in order to um, fetch any kind of uh, search params so i'm going to pass in the search and uh, now i'm just going to uh, create another variable called redirect and uh, redirect and set this equal to the search params uh, this has a function called get okay so this will get based on the particular key that we uh, specified that is redirect right which we specified there so that value 
and uh, if uh, it couldn't couldn't fetch this uh, particular value we are going to uh, navigate to the home screen okay so that's done and now we just need to um, uh, handle this um, in our uh, use effect hook okay so let's uh, go right below this and remember we need to uh, uh, import all of the use all of the hooks at the top of our function okay so otherwise uh, that uh, the link will break so use effect and i'm going to auto import so which takes in a function and uh, here we just need to check if the value of user info exists in our um, this uh, particular function okay so for that i'm going to uh, get that value so import user info so that is coming from view selector and grabbing our piece of what's happening so we are going to get the user state okay and uh, again import my god so now we just need to check if user info then we are going to um, then we are going to navigate the user to this uh, particular um, route okay so that is a redirect so navigate to to this redirect and uh, then we just need to pass in some uh, dependencies okay so uh, if not it will uh, complain okay and also you have to add this so navigate redirect and then now uh, the user info so if any one of these values change then this uh, use effect hook will run okay user info all right so that's done now let's uh, test it if it's uh, all working fine so at the moment i'm not uh, logged in so if i click on proceed to checkout it's going to take me to the login screen so i'll just uh, log in using john so if i hit login you see now it takes us to the slash shipping screen okay so this is a good uh, user experience where the, the user need not have to go back to the home screen and then uh, like uh, you know add in the items to the cart and then go to the shipping screen okay so this is a good uh, user experience and also you you can implement this in various other projects okay so this is one feature which you have actually learned okay so this was actually completely unnecessary for uh, such a small project but uh, you i just want uh, you guys to uh, know how to handle all such uh, things okay so in the next video we will be creating a payment screen okay so where uh, we the user needs to select the uh, type of payment uh, the user needs to make and also we'll be showing all the uh, summary of our uh, uh, items in our cart uh, so how much to pay and also a button to place our order okay so once we click on that uh, button it will uh, fetch uh, it will fetch all of the cart items and then store it in our mongodb okay so let's uh, do that in the next video